welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Lenann. If you're new here, hey, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, well, it's all about crochet. A little bit about knitting. A lot about yarn. But mostly it's about my life and my journey through this fantastic yarning community. Returning subscribers, say thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Monday with me. Mondays are um, make-along Mondays around here. Uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, it was a uh, weekend around here. Tom and I are still struggling with uh, the, the the Rona. Um, so we're still just in the rest and hydrate mode. Um, but that's okay. I think, I think I've turned the corner. I'm not coughing as hard anymore. And I think Tom is just now starting to get, you know, around that corner. So, you know, you just gotta wait it out and, and, uh, you know, treat the symptoms is all you can do. But anyway, um, so we're, we're better. We're on the road. It's just, it's, it's going to take a little bit longer, I think. Anyway, um, enough of that. Who cares about that? Um, today is Make Along Monday, and um, I have a finished object. Believe it or not, I did this in a week, and I love it, and I'm going to do another one because I think I really, really like it, and I want to do some different colors. Um, and I've made a lot of progress on a second one. So let's start with the one that I'm um, in, still working on, and that is the... Seattle Shawl by um, Heart Hook Home. Um, it's a free pattern on their website. Um, it's a beautiful Tunisian lacy, uh, like skinny scarf. Um, and I have made, whoops, a lot of progress on this one. I'm gonna lose that stitch if I don't do that. So, like, okay, starting here, and we're going, 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 and we're going. I mean, this thing is huge, long-wise, but that's the point of it. You want this long. This is multiple wraparound. Um, we're doing the Tunisian mesh stitch with this one, and it's a beautiful lacy stitch. I am using a six and a half millimeter uh, Tunisian hook. This one is my uh, Tunisian uh, Pride Dreams because I had been using the Allied Express one, but somewhere between my yarn room and the living room, I've dropped it and lost it or the kittens have taken it and I cannot find it. <laughs> so I had to switch to my other six and a half. And because I didn't want a cord, I just stuck a... Uh, you know, a needle stopper on the end so that my stitches don't go off the end because I didn't really want the long hook because they're too long. So this was my, my compromise. Although I've noticed if I wanted to, I could have used like a furls type hook or this is an Omi style hook. You could get all 26 stitches on here and still would have been able to work it. So there's lots of workarounds. I mean, look at the shaft on this one. You could do it with this one if you really wanted, this is a seven, but you could, you could do this with a regular tuning, with a regular crochet hook because you're only using 26 stitches. Um, I am using some fingering weight yarn by Forbidden Fiber Co. Yeah, Forbidden Fiber Co. And I'll link them in the description box below. This is on their Pride Base, which is a 70% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 10% Stellina. 495 yards, four ounces. Um, this is all I have left of the original ball. I'm gonna keep going until this is gone. So however long this goes is how long this goes. Although I'm, I, I'm coming up on the deadline here. I think I have until next week to get it done. But I, I like I said, this is, this is mindless, uh, super easy relaxing, don't have to think about it, TV watching crochet because it it's just the same thing row after row after row. I say that and then I will say that sometimes I have to put it down because it's the same thing row after row after row. Um, I like the idea that, that I don't have to think too hard about it but then it becomes a little bit boring. So I don't, I can't spend a whole 
ton of time on this, but look how beautiful this is going to be when it is blocked. It is going to be absolutely gorgeous. It'll be a little bit wider than it is now. It's going to be hugely long. I don't know if I've got enough um, blocking mats to block this whole thing. I may have to skip the blocking part of it because it is going to be huge. I mean, this thing is way longer than my uh, wingspan. So uh, this and this, I'm, hey, Atticus just came in. I'm sorry. To, yes, sir. What can I do for you? Yeah? Uh-huh. There's nothing out there. Okay. <laughs> and he's done. Anyway, hey, I don't want your butt in my face. So this I am doing um, for the Judy's Creations and Crochet bird uh, mal. Uh, she shows us a picture of a bird every month and you take some pig, some of the colors out of it, some inspiration out of it. And this to me hits all the blues that are in the bird. And then if you look at the picture of the bird, it's sitting on a branch and there's like this beautiful coppery color from the way the light is hitting it. And I, that's kind of what I picked up was the blues and that little bit of copper from the branch that the bird is on. And I think these colors go really well with the picture. So this is, uh, Judy's Creations and Crochet. If you do not know Judy, please go check out her channel. Um, she is very, very interesting. She's very, very smart. Um, and um, you might learn a two thing or two and see some really beautiful yarn because she gets some really beautiful hand dyed yarn. Um, very, very inspirational as far as her yarn buying goes. Um, last Thursday, she got a bunch of expression fiber arts yarn and um yeah it was like i went on their website going i need that i need that i need that so um anyway go check out judy um check out her um bird mail it's a fun thing she has a prize once you know every month to go along with it i look forward to the first of the month so that i can participate with uh judy and her bird pictures um the finished object that I have for this week is the shawl that I did for Gary at Urban Yarns. Now it's not completely finished because according to the directions, this needs to be aggressively blocked and you'll see why in a minute. Um, this is the Gary's um, summer mood board mount and I'll pop a picture of my mood board in here. Um, it's how architecture and the colors in the architecture, um, you know, your mood and your, your, and my words were, uh, timeless, classic and ageless, I believe. And I, I wanted something, I love, you know, the craftsman style and the more pictures that I were looking at, I, I kind of wanted to focus in on the stained glass and Stained glass always has that wavy look, but you get the shapes in it. And this particular shawl that I picked out, um, it is a design by Brianna Kay. Um, it is called the Fisherman's Wharf Shawl. Uh, she uses a fingering weight and a five and a half millimeter hook. Now I started it in the five and a half millimeter and it didn't, it was too tight. I ha, I'm using sport weight instead of fingering weight. Um, and our color palettes are similar. Not quite, She I used more gray than she did, but I think for me, this really uh, resonates with the wavy glass in old homes, the wavy, um, beautifulness of old, of old glass that you cannot replicate. And then the colors of the stained glass, the colors of a craftsman style home. Um, I used uh, Upcycle Alpaca Blend in the colors 
uh, black pearl, seashell, cornflower, salt lake, and salmon, I believe were all the colors that I used. And this is the shawl. Now, it is, it does have ends that need to be sewn in and it needs to be blocked. But this shawl uses short ropes for the wavy sections. And I love how this is turning out. Like I said, it needs to be aggressively blocked to get it to the right shape. But you can see the, the wavy sections of the colors. Uh, we've got the black pearl here, the salmon here, the cornflower here, seashell is the light gray, and then down here is the salt lake. I love the feel and the stitch definition of this yarn. Um, I'm a little bit worried that it won't uh, block as aggressively as it needs to because this is 30% uh, acrylic. It's The blend is acrylic, wool, and alpaca. 33 alpaca, 34 wool, 33 acrylic. And I'm thinking that the 34% acrylic isn't going to let me uh, uh, block this as aggressively as I think it needs to be done. But I, I'm going to give it a shot. But you can see once it's blocked that the mesh stitches are going to just be really open and give you that fishnet look. And then the solid single crochet sections are going to come, un, you know, loosen up enough that you're going to get, you know, a nice background for it. I really, really, I'm excited about getting this block. I'm going to work on that today. So hopefully uh, by next week, and I can show you the, ex the entire thing completely done. But I think this is just, and it wasn't difficult. And it's using short rows. All these color sections are, are done in short rows, which is why it needs to be so aggressively blocked because it's, uh, you know, pulling in on itself because of the short rows. But it created its own border. So there's, you know, no extra work to be done. And then you have this big mesh section at the bottom that'll be pulled out. I love this. I am so excited to get this soaked for a little while and then get it blocked. So this, like I said, is a, it is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It's by Brianna K Designs. Um, I'll have it listed in the description box below. There's nothing out there, sir. What are you looking for, huh? Oh wait, no, you're Jean Louise. This is Jean Louise. That's not Atticus. Watch, she's gonna try to get some yarn off of there. Hey, get down. You do not need to be up there. No, ma'am. You can, no, no, you do not. Okay, go that way, thank you. Um, somehow they have popped the door open and when they come in here, they want to make a beeline for the yarn always, every single time. So I don't let them in here that often. Anyway, um, on advice from some really smart people, I have not sewn the ends in until after I black it. Um, so that is the other thing that I have to do once I get it blacked and dried, then I will sew in all the ends. So. I mean, look, I mean, even without it being blocked, look how pretty that is. It is going to be so pretty once this is completely blocked. And this yarn, you guys, I am so glad that I got more of it. Um, it is so soft and even just a single crochet, I'll get out of the way, and you can see what really nice stitch definition you get with the mesh stitches. It's going to be so pretty. It's nice soft yarn. Um, it is on clearance on um, Knit Picks We Crochet. So if you're interested in some really nice alpaca blend yarn, head over there. Not affiliated with them. I'm just telling you, I really, really, really like the this yarn. It's soft. It's going to make a beautiful sweater that I'm working on. Um, it, it's, it's pretty fabulous. 
Look at those beautiful colors, the greens, the blue, the, the, the browns with the gray. I just think it's so, so pretty. So guys, that's it. <laughs> um, glad you got to see two of the three kittens. I have no idea where Hazel is. She likes to hide this time of day, but you know, a special appearance by Atticus and Jean Louise. Um, I hope you guys, um, have a fantastic Monday, an even better week. Um, hope you come back tomorrow with Tunisian Tuesday. Haven't decided what we're going to do yet, but we'll talk about something interesting. I'm sure I'll come up with something. Um, and then Wednesday, I have my cornbread and honey uh, summer box came in. And I have, uh, I think it's being delivered today, a uh, set from uh, Southern Schemes, which I didn't realize is a dyer in Florida. Hello. And um, I do have another Knit Picks order coming. So there's a lot of new, new yarn coming in that I'm excited to share with you. Um, and um, I am also doing a test pattern uh, for the one and only Anita at y.o.h crochet. Um, and I'll show you that on Friday. So lots going on this week. Um, hope you stick around and, uh, you know, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you have any questions, leave me comments in the description box or you can email me, you know how to get a hold of me. So I'm gonna let you go, guys. I hope you have a fantastic week and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Tunisian Tuesday. Remember, take care of yourself, give yourself some grace, but above all, be kind to everyone.